spawning as the yellow trolls we have got Saitama yeah he's going for the plague bringer this is meta boys this is definitely gonna be meta uh, the reason being in the first four levels he's vastly superior to the chieftain so let's see what he can get done with that on the other side playing as the purple elves this is Pennywise And we've got a ranger. The ranger is going to go with the wolf. Um, it's, it's just that and the hail of arrows. Plus the deep waters, of course. So, yeah, you need that in order to afford all these spells. The wolf summon itself is pretty expensive at 20 focus. Understandably so. It does all the work for you against these creeps. First sector is going to be upgraded immediately. And yeah, we've got the triple woodcutter and the hunting cabin is actually full. So it's a little bit more focused on the guardian play, I guess. Uh, as for Saitama, he's also clearing his... Oh, he's actually going for the horizontal route. So this will make sure that he gets the godstone that's actually here and not showing up yet. But once he sees it, we can see it. Anyway, for the skill tree, he has gone for feast on disease... Plague disease, so he gets the combo with the leeching. He got brute force, one plague bolt, and one deep waters, which is, you know, pretty much enough to do what he needs to do for now. Then later on, when you also get the ultimate skills like plague orb, then you add another deep waters later. Um, sounds like harassment to me. Got a pathfinder. Yeah, Plaguebringer is really good in these situations because he just siphons the health and goes pretty much back to full. That siphoning does insane amounts of damage, guys. Look at this. 120 leech. That's pure damage. And then... 120 magic damage on the target. That's after... Uh, 8 pure damage has been taken by sec per second from the Plague Disease, plus probably a ranged attack. So, this deletes the tier 1 units. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's a lot of alerts that we're getting, so we're gonna switch to free spectating here. Sure, Saitama is equally annoyed, so Saitama smash. He hasn't been able to do harassment of his own, of course, because uh, his one smasher has been with the Playbringer this whole time. Uh, is looking to intercept his Pathfinder. It's He's really pissed off now, so... <laughs> Get that. has been doing a pretty good job staying a little bit ahead of that plague bringer actually slightly faster creeping but that's solely because of that harassment oh my god where did we go i think the camera speed is too fast guys i'm gonna tune it down a little bit uh is it this it's in controls yeah that's it for casting you want this low Ah, yes. Look how smooth that is. I can just use, like, arrow keys and stuff. That ranger might actually get the smasher. Oh! One more shot. She's weak! Woo! The plague is hurting her. But pops a potion, so it's all gonna be okay for now. Looks like the smasher is getting away. Very unfortunate for the ranger, but there's another. Where is another smasher? There's another opportunity for a kill. Ranger single target damage is pretty much insane. Uh, but instead, it's not that that will go down, but Penny's guardian. Not able to deal with all that magic damage from the Playbringer, of course. Uh, despite the fact that... We've got a Bullseye, True Shot, Hail of Arrows, and the Spirit of the Forest, obviously, for that single target damage. 
uh, it's not been enough to get rid of all of these smashers, it's just too many. And Penny is actually out of mana, of focus, po not focus, not mana, healing potions. Needs to go home. And buy stuff in the shop. Luckily for him, the Shrine of Growth does come up. Which is one of the weaknesses of the Plaguebringer. You get fewer things that can target buildings. So much fewer, in fact, that none of these can do that. I'm pretty sure this is against creatures only. Yes. Ranger is going back, but Penny actually did not go home to purchase equipment. Uh, there is a shop right over here as well, though. So, you know, that could be an object of interest. Four Smashers will make easy work of Medusa, but the Ranger is here to cause trouble, and she means business. Gets one Smasher down. Should get another right there. Oh, so close, man. Get him! Something else did. I think that was a Medusa kill. Oh my god. 21. Penny is living life on the edge. Ooh, even stopping there. And the stun smasher actually body blocks the other one. So good work. Gets away from this. But at the same time. <laughs> Saitama. He's gonna get all the Medusa now. Because by the time Penny comes back, yeah, this is upgraded, so forget about this. Satama's just gonna go after the other Medusas now. Mm, now we've got shopping. Oh, he's getting the Finn and Mirbo. Okay. So I just want to say something about uh, my prior casting mistakes. I previously said that weapon damage skills are helped by the weapons that you purchase. That is not true. It will just do the type of damage that your weapon does. So if your damage type is magic, then this will be magic. But the number is fixed. It's irrelevant. Uh, whether it's disequipped or this, but this is still a hashtag no equip situation. <laughs> uh, not great for the normal attacks, but yeah. So, Saitama with the small four smashers going after the Medusa. He's got three bases at the moment, and uh, apparently don't see him upgrading anything else. Wait. Did he just... No. I'm imagining things. Wait, he did, he did. He did finish this right now. So, four bases. That's a lot for trolls, man. Actually, that's more than what Penny has. And elves are... I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it's good when elves are a little bit ahead. But actually, he went tall on this base. So, understandable. Have a nice day. He's got... He's got an iron mine coming up. He's going tall on both Iron Mine sectors. Uh, very, very reasonable, considering that he has lost that sector. And he's gonna want the Iron Units to come back in this situation. In the main, we should be seeing groves being made. Uh, hopefully Penny will upgrade the increased workforce while he has all this wood. And then he can just make a bunch of Guardians. He can make the Iron Units when he's able. Should be a solid tier 2 army. Let's see if he can get it done though, because it's one thing to prepare for it and another to actually execute. Oh, <laughs> no, not the bags. Hey, stay on the ground. Nobody wanted them. And they were abandoned. That's just what happens. Hey, that's level 5 Playbringer. I should have pointed that out. Which means we are gonna have Plague Orb. We're gonna have Plague Disease 2. This is dangerous for this little army here. I think it's time. Oh, there's a Plague Orb. Only actually hits the... The Ranger, but that's enough. 
Because with the leech, you can finish everything off. And those guardians are trash against trolls, so yeah. They're supposed to be a filler unit, not the only unit. So whenever you throw them into the fight uh, against trolls, like even if it's even if it's a handful of them, right? It's not really gonna perform well. You're gonna want to combine them with your iron units and then have them be the filler, buying them in the moments when you can't actually afford the iron. Maybe you put them in ranged mode even so that you can just run away from the trolls when and the going gets tough, but when you enter melee against smashers, that's gonna get ugly. Is that Saitama on just two bases missing? Holy moly. This man is growing big. Gonna get his trap shutters. It's a little bit late, but whatever. He's not population blocked just yet. Uh, maybe his fight hat is. No. No, he's good. He's good. He's got his base upgrade done, so... He can train just one more unit. Also has his two scrappers. Which hopefully will be free in a moment. Uh, he probably wants the fourth building here to be a... To be for the scrap. And then you get the third worker. Three workers and two buildings. That is the per perfect gathering to processing ratio. Oh, he's already got it. Excuse me. Then he's fine now. There is scrap somewhere here. Hold up. Where's scrap? Here. 375 scrap. So, pretty good amount. What's Benny up to? We've got three wardens. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot more than what we've seen in the other series from Taha, with the mixture of uh, Wardens and Wanderers. The Wardens are definitely the superior choice against trolls, especially in these smaller battles. In the big battles, maybe I could see Wanderers being relevant, but I mean, these guys do magic damage. It's 50 magic damage and 125 pierce. have to hit a lot of targets to make the Wanderer worth it. Which is gonna happen in like the Orc matchup. Not here. And that is very close to the melee trolls. Uh, most of the units immediately end up in melee even though they're ranged. So that is not good news for the Wardens which only have 800 health. Are getting weakened here. And Plague Orbed as well at the same time. That was uh, pretty much a point blank snipe. And from Saitama, that might just be a leech kill. Oh, Ranger gets away, but not really. As the normal attack snipe kills her. And is that what death feels like? Uh, Penny has an 18 population. There's nothing here, man. <laughs> Night Hunter says Saitama knows his troll like Spongebob knows the secret recipe. You know what the secret recipe is? You just make your burgers with love. That's the secret recipe. So he plays his trolls with love. You think these are violent people? They're very friendly actually. Just these nasty tusk hunters force them to be violent people. They take up arms and they defend their tribe. That's how it goes. Uh, <laughs> spoilers. Whoops. Hey, that's a lot of wood that's gonna be picked up here. Uh, I think Saitama just powers through to the next tier. Oh god. Oh god, here we go. That's a Deletus. Such a powerful ability, that. And everyone's gone. Penny is out of this game. But there is at least one more chance for him. So let's see if he can get that done. Hmm. 
What is love? Well, baby, don't hurt me, obviously. Playing as yellow humans, we have got Saitama. And on the other side, playing as the dwarfs in the purple color, is the one and only Pennywise. So I'm curious what Penny has got planned for us here. It's going to be a high higher fan. Uh, pulling in the upper creeps here with the mole real quick. And we've got the fire totem build. I like it. Now the problem with the fire totems is that they're extremely weak. And they have negative resistances to begin with. So uh, anyway, Saitama is doing the... Sorry, Pennywise is doing the right thing. Getting this north stone pole. This is a secure base, right? Whereas this one... Uh, this heart creeps next to it. Well, medium heart. And the first flag is going to be tough to defend against that. Anyway, let's take a look at what Saitama has been up to. Got a Wolf Guard Commander. And we got pretty normal skills here, right? Shadow Strike, Fatal Blow, Whirlwind, Brute Force, and Deep Water. It's completely normal stuff. Uh, the build is going to be completely normal too. Double Wood Hunt. And uh, uh, Abandoned Stone. He'll come back to the stone once the Wood Colors are... Pixie's still got enough and enough stone to upgrade a second flag, and then he'll focus on his stone later. And yeah, there's the thing that he does. That's what every good player does, pretty much, if they remember. Uh, they just get these creeps aggro, and they pull it into your into your flag, and then you're in trouble. Anyway, I don't think we looked at Penny's uh, skills. Yeah, scatter shot, kill shot, double deep waters, and. A Totem of Flames. Now the question is, will he commit harder to Totems, or is that it? We shall see. Comes back to take this. Obviously the creeps go back to their regular neutral location uh, after they're done killing whatever they're killing. And yeah, in a moment, Saitama is going to be working on his third base, but... Not before he gets a hunting cabin here. Actually, wouldn't be able to afford it, but he's got, you know, double with cutter, so it's gonna be sorted out quick. Does have time to make an infantryman if he chooses. Uh, no infantry. He made one infantry, but not two. Okay. I would have liked to see a second one, uh, just for bullying purposes. Also, super powerful thing is you can get into the stone line. Obviously, dwarves generally want the triple stone in the third, first base. Uh, brutalizing this is a huge problem for dwarves right now in the current balancing. As if they, if they get interrupted in the process of gathering their one stone, which they then drop off to turn into two in the stone cutter. Yeah, that one stone is gone if you don't fully gather it, so resetting that is a huge loss. For the dwarfs, which is probably one of the reasons that they are not so heavily represented in this tournament. And this is the other weakness. Oh my god. The char burner is getting bullied, but Penny still has six char. So he can upgrade at least one more sector. Problem is, he's actually short on food. Oh god, oh god. He's deconstructing the building? Is that a mistake? Did he mean to do that? Did he mean to bell? I don't know Penny's hotkeys, but... Uh, I made the deconstruct like combo key odd B for me instead of just B. Because it just avoids this situation. I don't think he actually wanted to do what he did. Because he didn't make another building. Uh, ouch. Hunting cabin is up. I don't know what the plan here was. There's no idle workers, right? Like, he did get to transfer to the char burner with this. Uh, but it is getting bullied by that infantryman. So, really good harassment play by Saitama while he's creeping on the other side, of course. 
and there are more infantrymen coming in to deal with the axular. Infantrymen are actually superior units. You, you don't see this until you check the attack speed. Attacks per second 0.4 for the axular, right? But for the uh, infantrymen, it's 0.48. So even though they have less damage per attack, they have more DPS. It's insanity. So both level 4 now, yes. Penny did not go for any further totem plays. Um, he got himself Bonebreaker and a Concentration Point. He might decide to still go something totemy, but I highly doubt it, to be honest. That's for Saitama. He's just going Brute Force. Well, Charburner, <laughs> it's going to get wrecked, and Penny doesn't have the resources to build stuff. He's trying to make stone halls, and his only Charburner is getting bullied. Is it preferable to build it back here? I think so. It's going to take him forever. Like, this Charburner is going to now take 30 seconds to, to make. It actually doesn't show in this interface for whatever reason. Uh, that is actually strange. It takes 25 seconds, sorry. So yeah, that is some significant downtime right there. Meanwhile, Saitama has been enjoying his constant expansion, like... Let's count bases for Saitama. One, two, three, four... That's gonna be the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bases for Saitama. Are you kidding me? That is a lot of workers right now. I, I do wish actually we had a, a worker count in this. Um, I wish I would show, like, X slash Y, X being the current, and Y being the idle. That would be pretty nice. But, honestly, I'm happy enough we got this. This spectator panel is pretty nice to have. Especially after casting for so long without it, right? Oh yeah, Night Hunter says it's better to deconstruct because, you know, you get all your stone pack better than the enemy hero. Uh, stealing stone slash breaking your building. And forcing a repair, which is expensive, so... Okay, I can see that. And the workers were gone anyway. So yes, good points, Night Hunter. And yeah, that stone hall is not done. <laughs> the other one is, and it is making some axe wielders, but there are so many infantry units here. Uh, quite a bunch of arbalists too, and look at that! The Hierophant is toast. Penny is out of the tournament. That's that's that. The uh, game is over in 8 minutes 37. Dude, Saitama is a beast, and yeah, he moves on to the... Is this the semi-finals? that he's moving on to after Penny? I believe so. Like and subscribe, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.